Back out we go. So I'm not entirely sure what are the choices I have. If it's like what I pick up or... Well, maybe I do in a specific room. Do I have a choice here? Left or right? Oh, I can't actually turn it the other way. Okay. Here we go. Up the elevator. That's not creepy at all. That's good. Uh, pass catches you, I think that said. I don't trust this. Like, we're gonna open the elevator, it's gonna go fucking falling or something like that. Can we? Okay. There's a vase here. Let me open this door. No, it's locked. This door. Locked. Also locked. A candle we cannot light. That is locked. Oh, but this door is open. That literally looks like there's a person standing there looking at me. I'm sure it's a painting. We have a note. Dear sir, while I can certainly understand that you are upset, I have nothing but sympathy for you, your wife, and yourself. I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best, our best job, or no, the best job possible considering the extent of the tissue damage. We are, of course, entitled to opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will um, ameliorate, am, ameliorate, something like that, the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than content to help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. Green, M.D. So, something fucked up our wife's skin, face? We weren't. That painting is playing music. Why did you stop? The dude was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. I bet the painting's gonna be scary now. It's deteriorating. OK. 
Okay. The key does not work on that door. The elevator is red. Key works on that door. Anything in there? Nope. Go on in. More fucking rooms. Nothing really exciting in there. It's a closet. Sounds like there's a fire in that room. But I can't go in it. Ah, yes, to the attic. There's an actual fire burning in that room. Nice. Sounds like there's a baby crying in that chest. For science. Oh, it's just a baby doll. I'm just gonna leave it. I don't fuck with no demon dolls. Mouse traps. Some claws. Oh, there goes one. It's like knocked over in there. Uh, nothing really exciting there. We got a door that we can open and go into. It's a room with a deer head again. I don't know if I wouldn't say this is the same room, but it is definitely a room. The door over here. Oh, Christ. Okay. Don't fuck with no demons. Oh shit. I didn't even realize that this fell. That sucks. You guys are gonna miss my face reaction. One of the scarier parts. Let me make sure that's actually looking okay. There we go. Alright. Back at it. Here we go. We can go into this room. Well, something just, like, disintegrated there. That's a messed up face. There's a flickering light, which is always appreciated. Is there a note? No? Nothing? I can open these drawers. Oh, God. I have to walk through here. Uh, okay, yes. And it says... It cannot be undone. What can't? I don't know. Are we in the weird mirror dimension now? Oh no! I set the dog on fire. That's not nice. Hear a whispering over here. That's always appreciated. Wait, can I open that box? No. 
And there's some like cards or something in there. And I cannot open the rest of the drawers. Just listen to the demon whispers and now the scorched dog. Got a wheelchair. You want this as well. What is it that I want? He doesn't have a face. Wheelchair. Stop following me. Options. Locked. Also locked. Oh, Christ. Ah, a mouse. You little bitch. Looks like the chair, the, the wheelchair. So I can go in there. Can I go in here? Follow the mouse? I could. I have options. Or I can go back down to the end of the hallway. I'll follow the rat. Wow, what a stupid idea. Can I go back? No, of course not. At least I can turn on the lamps. Huh. Take that. You know, you don't... You don't have to do that. No one said, hey, throw the fucking fan at me. No one said it. No one told you that you had to. No one said it was a requirement. No one said, hey, throw the fan at Patrick. That'd be a good idea. Locked. Why'd it get darker? I mean, it's a room. There's a key. Uh, no. Please put the lights back on. April 6th, found his little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted badly. I know it's hard for him too, but god damn it, he should know better. With a small child in the house, that's just irresponsible. Well. Sounds like there's a spooky monster in your house. Hey, we got a picture. That eerily looks like we're skeletons. 
Oh, can I like flip that around or something? No. Anything else? Bottom drawer. No. Unleash your inner beauty, the new Glamour Fusion Max. Say farewell to acne scars and large pores and other unpleasant skin conditions. The new Glamour Fusion Max concealer will give your skin a healthier look and smoother feel. Don't think of it as covering up deficiencies. Think of it as unleashing your inner beauty. Wow. It's what I always wanted to unleash my inner beauty. What's up, demons? It's me, your boy. Yeah, I hear you talking. Assholes. Well, there's no record. Now before I do that, let's take a good old search around the room. Well, there's that. Ooh. Prosthesis or proth prosthesis sanctuaries. Why the damn leg? Insatiable bastards can't afford a new one. There's like eyeballs in a leg. Prosthetic leg. Open those? No. Wonder if this will be like another part of the painting. Now, what was that? Dumpling all around, dumpling all around, dumpling all around. So Stumbling here and there, stumbling everywhere, and I must declare I stepped right on her toes, and when she bumped my nose I fell, and when I rose, I felt a shame Stumbling all around, stumbling all around, stumbling all Hey I want to keep listening to that Turn it back. Oh, we could increase the speed of it. Alright, this door's open. That means we gotta go out there. No, we don't. Is there a key in here? What's going to set us off? What spooky monsters? Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. Uh-huh. Now, I was about to say, why the fuck did it have to get dark? Play the damn song. That's the only thing that brings me joy in this fucking place. Violin. Was that what we were looking for or probably? No, it wasn't. I 
Oh, I already trapped in here. Does that painting change? No. Yeah, we got back. No. Oh. Well, the demons don't like it when I start playing that song because, oh boy, I don't know why. I don't know how to get out of this room. We did that. The room is melting. I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. And a taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? You know, you're right. Why were you filling a thing with blood? Why is this room melting? You know, Can we leave? Not through there. Can I uh, play it the right way and it'll fix the room? Yeah, okay. Stumbling here and there, stumbling everywhere, and I must declare I stepped right on my toes. Stumbling all around, stumbling all around, stumbling all around. So funny. Stumbling here and there. Figure it out. We leave now. Back to the paint room. Oh, we got a thing on the wall. So that little thing I found there. Was one of these going to be that other one? Well, I've probably got to add it to our painting first. And see what it becomes. It's uh it's Shrek Swamp made of blood and guts and like skeletons and shit. It's That's cool. And look, this opened up. 
with the thing that it said and the piece of skin all right does this say anything else hate even now lost alone you deserve it a grave for you finish it all right that is something and we get another picture I thought we found another picture we did wedding picture okay I can't stand seeing you like this you're not well you were sweating and shaking all night and now there you are locked in your workshop as usual this whore tortured artist nonsense has to go has got to stop okay well it looks like we have maybe like six more parts to go in this and so what I'm actually gonna do is call it for the night because it's getting late and I have school in the morning so uh, thank you guys for joining in and playing along this with me um, and we will continue some layers of fears tomorrow but I'm having fun it's giving me a couple good scares so it's worth it was worth the five bucks. Oh my god, I can't even wait to see what happens next. But as I said, thanks for joining into the stream. Um, I'll upload it on YouTube as I always do. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone.